in this segment we will discuss about <coughs> another important topic from BHDL <coughs> which is called as delay models now friends as far as any digital circuit is considered it may be analog systems or digital systems always there should be certain propagation and delay and therefore it becomes necessary to discuss about what actually mean by delay so let us start the term called as delay how will you define a delay basically it is a mechanism of introducing timing parameters of specified systems timing parameters nothing but the statements which are written after clause that means the result is expected to be taken out after a certain delay of time and that is nothing but our timing parameters how can you do this one so basically these delays are introduced in the signal assignment statements you can see we have the next statement as sum which is less than or equals to ax or p now in this case there is nothing written like delay or there is nothing written after clause but here there will be a default delay that will be introduced by the system itself now why system introduces the delay is to correct the given terms or in order to correct rectify the errors or we have to just correct the terms for that case the delay has been introduced whereas the second statement we have written as sum less than or equal to ax or p but here we have added the term after 10 nanosecond it simply indicates that the sum is scheduled to be after 10 nanosecond so this after clause statement is known as a delay now based on whether we are simply adding the delay we are simply transporting the given input terms or we are scheduling the term we have three types of delay that we are going to discuss Number one is called as an inertial delay, the second is called as a transport delay and third one is called as the delta delay. Now we will see them one by one with the help of example. We have the first type which is called as inertial delay. Now the default delay which is introduced in the system is called as inertial delay. How we can say that it is a default delay? So the after clause in the preceding statement represents an inertial delay. So as seen uh, in the previous slide sum less than or equal to ax or b and we are written after 10 nanoseconds so that after 10 nanoseconds indicates the inertial delay now why it is introduced it is intended to model gates and other devices that do not propagate short pulses from input to output now this meaning both important hai. that means it is simply used to uh, we can call it as uh, filter out the pulse width which are less than the given amount of in that case, we can use inertial delay. So it simply act as a rejector also. We have seen the next one as statement. If a gate has an ideal inertial delay, suppose t second. Now, in addition to delaying the input signal by time t, any pulse width which is less than t is rejected. That means if we have an input gate whose time period is supposed to be t or it is delayed by t amount of time. So anything or any gate or any pulse width whose uh, width is less than t second will be rejected automatically so this is going to be the function of inertial delay how can you do this so we can write this by a syntax as signal name that you have to define it should be less than or equal to now we are writing the term called as reject it is going to reject the pulse width but after the specified time so it is written as reject pulse width after delay time. now let us see this with the help of an example slide we can see it here z1 is same as x only it is shifted by 10 nanosecond so for the first 20 nanosecond the value is uh, 0 then it is 1 then it is 0 and then it is 3 2 and 5 nanosecond that means the given input signal is delayed by 10 nanosecond so this is how one can term as transport delay <coughs> so we have seen inertial delay as well as transport delay now we have a which is called as delta delay now how can you define delta delay it is a special case of inertial delay with delay infinitesimally small that means the delay introduced is very 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 small but that we can treat as what a delta delay this is automatically inserted after zero nanosecond by the simulator to preserve correct ordering of the events that means in order to fetch the correct sequence of the events or transition this delay has been introduced by the simulator so this delay is called as a delta delay now see 
if it is written as uh, sum less than or equal to ax or b after 10 nanoseconds it is an inertial delay suppose if it is written sum less than or equal to ax or b but no delay has been introduced so that delay is called as a delta delay let us see this with a here i have a code as library which we are defined as ieee i am using it uh, we have written an entity with the port as a input standard logic y output standard logic then we have end the entity uh, then i have written architecture concurrent of the given entity is and then we have defined another two signals b and c their standard logic the value is going to be 0 or 1 now let's initialize the statements the first statement we have written y should not y should not should be less than or equal to not c c should not be, uh, c should be less than or equal to not b and b is less than or equal to not a and then finally we will end it now based on that when we come across the schematic which is up front of us uh, here a <coughs> is given as 1 in the starting phase and then it is 0 now based on that <coughs> we have b c and y also now let us come across y which is complementary of c you can see it here uh, c was for the first three cycles c is 1 and then it is 0 now it is changed so for the first four terms it is 0 and then it is 1 similarly c is not equals to b so it is complementary and b is complementary to a now if you observe the terms carefully every time a delay of delta has been added that means in the first cycle it is 0 to t then it is t plus delta t plus 2 delta t plus 3 delta where delta can have a very small value that simply check the correctness of the event that is going to be taken place so in this way one can define the uh, inertial delay transport delay as well as the delta delay i hope you understood the concept of delay which is going to be introduced in phstl further study on de delays we can take uh, with the help of examples of some combinational circuit as well as sequential circuit thank you very much